tracking, uh, tracking graphs and, and how this... Can you go back a second? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so all, all of these are statable, okay? And that's why I said, how do you track that? You want to find out how many of these it took, okay? So go ahead. So um, <clears throat> in the end, you're going to say, I call this a red line graph, right? And, and this is... This all, this all equates, and, and this is a sales, so this is the goal. You might say the goal of the sales segment is to sell 36, whatever, thousand, million. Okay, let's just say we're selling 36 million this year, all right? And that's the goal to have at the end of the year. So that's a red line graph. So in this case, we sold 3 million in January, and we didn't sell anything in February or March. <clears throat> April came along, we sold another 3 million. Now, on our red line graph, we're tracking low, and you all need to keep this. You need to have a goal. You need to have an overarching goal, which we'll talk about in a minute, for your, for your business. What is the goal of your business, and what is its purpose and its mission, or its set of core values or convictions that support that goal? And at the same time, then you need to look at each segment and say, each segment's got a product. What's the goal? What's the number goal, okay, that we can stat and trend and track each year for that particular segment. So if you go back and you remember the segments we talked about, each one of those products, you should have a goal for that, okay? So we need to have a goal for a certain number of happy clients who bought or sold from us, okay? In exchange for money, who'd refer another, right? And we can translate that into, okay, to keep this business alive based on our overarching company goals, the sales segment needs to sell 36 million in this example this year, okay? So those, that funnel leading to the stats can lead you back there. How good are you at keeping those relationships going?